Hey guys, in today's video I wanted to share with you my favorites for the month of February. I don't have a ton of products this month. Um, if I'm being honest, I actually didn't wear makeup for the majority of the month. As you may or may not know, I had surgery done right away in the beginning of February. And so for like two and a half weeks, I was not wearing makeup at all. It just, I wasn't, it wasn't something that I was wanting to do. However, I do have some products that I ended up really loving, so I guess I'll just get right into them. First up is probably my favorite thing out of the bunch, and that is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I got this for Christmas, and I just, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. It looks like this. I'm sure you've all seen it before, but here. It looks like this, and it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors that are in it. And I have been reaching this so often. I've had to force myself to use other palettes because I've just been so in love with this. And the scent. Like, I have this out on my desk when I'm doing my makeup and I leave it open and the smell just, like, wafts up. And it's just... It smells so good. The only thing I don't like about it is this little plasticky insert with the color names. Sorry, don't mean to blind you. It really annoys me because I want to know what colors I'm using and I have to, like, flip this on and off and I just... I wish that they would have made the colors listed in the plastic. Beyond that, this palette is just absolutely perfect and I love it so, so much. Next up is another Christmas present and these are the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. It is a group of three cream highlights. Now, this was like a Christmas set, but I know you can per at least I'm pretty sure you can purchase all of these shades. One of them might be limited edition to that set, but they are available in like full size. These are like little sample sizes, but I honestly feel like this is all you really need because you never really use up like a product like this because you don't need a ton of it. But um, the colors I have are Champagne Gold, Opal, and Pearl. And Opal and Pearl are the two that I've been using the most just because I don't usually go for goldy highlights. But I am wearing Pearl today. And they just offer a very, very nice natural reflectivity to the skin. It doesn't look glittery, it's just shine, and I really like that. If you can still find this set at your Ulta near you, I don't know if it's still available on the website, but if your Ulta has these sets still available, I would totally try and find it because it was a great deal. The three of these was like, I think 20 or $25, which is really, oops, dropped it, really affordable, and they are just fantastic. I have never liked a cream highlight more. This month I have two brushes to share with you that I've been completely loving. One is a new favorite from this month and one is like a rediscovered favorite that I've had in my collection for a long time. Uh, but first up I'm going to talk about the new brush and that is the e.l.f. Essential Line $1 like flat shadow brush. I don't know if it necessarily has a name it just says professional eyeshadow brush. But this is what it looks like and it's just like a flat shader brush. Like I said this is only a dollar and it is just fantastic it is super super soft and it's the perfect size for packing shadow onto the lid and i absolutely love it and i've washed it a couple times and it only shed a little bit the first time i washed it so that's awesome i mean usually from the experience i've had really cheap brushes shed a lot but this actually has shed less than some of their studio line brushes have which i also absolutely love their studio line brushes but i just adore this and i kind of want to buy more i mean i already have two of them but they're just that good. Next up is the Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. This is just a very dense, fluffy blending brush. Oop, like this. And I absolutely love this. I've had this for well over a year now. And it's just, it's awesome. I don't know why I didn't use it more before. It wasn't until this month that I started reaching for this a lot. It is absolutely phenomenal like if you really want a soft blown out look you just gotta rock this back and forth in your crease which is what i did to get my eye look today i'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera just because of how washed out the lighting is making me look but this brush is just i can't even describe it it is just fantastic i absolutely love it next we are moving back into the realm of chocolate and this is the Body Shop Deluxe Edition Body Butter, and it is a chocolate scented body butter, and I just, oh my gosh, this smells so good. It looks like this, and as you can see, I've made a bit of a dent in it, um, 
And it's not so much that this is a super, super hydrating body butter. I have used some other body butters from the body shop and they've been more hydrating than this one. But I'm totally willing to look past that because of the smell. I just, I can't get enough of the smell. I'm a total chocoholic, so that's probably why. Obviously, if you don't like chocolate, you probably won't like this. But just, I enjoy just rubbing this, like, on my hands. And then throughout the day, I can just, like, smell chocolate. And it's just, it is so good. I'm not sure if they still sell this. I think this was, like, a limited edition thing. But if you can find it, I would definitely recommend checking out the Body Shop's Chocolate Body Butter. It's... It just smells so good. This is another rediscovered favorite of mine, and that is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. My tube uh, is broken at the bottom here on the cap, but this is just a phenomenal mascara. It's the mascara that I'm wearing today. Um, it has, yeah, it has like a plasticky wand, which I really like in mascaras, honestly. I've had this mascara for not a super long time, but a little while. And I, I really liked it when I first got it, and then I guess I just bought a whole bunch of other mascaras, and it kind of got pushed back to the, like, back of my drawer, and then this month I found it again, and I was like, you know, I feel like I like this. And I tried it, and I was like, oh my god, I definitely like this. It is just a fantastic mascara. It gives volume, it gives length, um, plus it's cheap. I think it's like 3 or $4, which you really can't beat for the quality that you're getting, and the brush isn't huge. I mean... I've had so many mascaras that I try where the brush is like bigger than my eye and I have pretty big eyes. One thing I will say is that it has a very wet formula and when you first get it you kind of have to wipe off the wand on like the inside of the tube like when you're taking it out because the uh, what's it called? The little thing that like scrapes off the mascara wand as you're taking it out doesn't get all of the excess product off just because it's such a thick wet formula but if you do that it's fine and after a couple weeks it dries down to like the, a perfect consistency so don't let the super wet formula turn you off of it because it really is a great mascara the final product i have to share with you is actually a hair care item and it is the dove refresh and care volume dry shampoo and i just i love this stuff it smells fantastic and does a really great job and in my last empties video, I talked about how much I love the Suave dry shampoo and how it was like my favorite dry shampoo. And like, I just, I thought it was fantastic. It's still a good dry shampoo, but this completely blows it out of the water. It takes my hair, which sometimes, I mean, I don't wash my hair super, super often. So, you know, sometimes it kind of looks a bit greasy. I put this in. And you can't even tell that I haven't washed my hair that day. It literally looks like I just washed it. And it it makes my hair really volumized. And it feels clean. It doesn't feel greasy. You know, sometimes dry shampoo, you put it in your hair, it looks fine. But then you touch it and it's like, oh, that's gross. This, you don't have that. It feels like it's just been cleaned. And the smell, I don't know if I can still smell it. It smells really good. I mean, it does kind of have like that hair producty smell, but at the same time, it smells really fresh and clean, and it makes your hair smell the same way. It, it's actually kind of like a fruity smell, not necessarily citrusy, but just like a fruity smell, which I really like. If you don't like that kind of smell, you might not like it, but I find that a lot of dry shampoos have a really offensive scent, so this was nice because that didn't, that didn't have it with this product, but I just, I would totally recommend trying this out, and it's only like four bucks, which... You know, that's not bad at all for a dry shampoo. So I, I highly recommend this product. So that was all of my favorites for this month. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos for me. And if you like any of these products, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what your opinion of them is. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!